Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where the Moogles are getting wrecked, and we love it. We are super, super pleased about this. We're at 96% war score, however, versus the Moogles, we're only at 73. So that's something to keep in mind. We do need to continue to boost our Moogle war score. Rather than sending these guys home, we're just going to have them occupy these areas, I think. They've got plenty of troops, and that is completely and totally fine. Yeah, I'm fairly content with that. We're going to keep occupying over here. We did send a unit down over there to deal with those rebels. Sounds good. And we have a number of armies that are back home working on recuperating. These guys are all chilling as well. So that sounds great to me. Honestly, are we targeting 100% war score here for the Mughals? Maybe. Now, we're not really that interested in taking some of this territory for ourselves. Mughal Arabia... Absolutely. We want that for ourselves. But this territory over here, we're probably just going to force the Mughals to return it. And just try to cut down on their power level a little bit. I feel like this was a really great time to declare this war, and I'm super pleased with this outcome. Now, we do have some attrition over here, but that's going to go away. No real problem there. And we are continuing to occupy. And that's great. Head on in. We won this siege. Perfect. And this is ready to go. We're going to head on over this way. So do the Mughals have territory other than this down here? I don't believe so. What is their troops looking like? They're down to 163,000 troops. Hormuz has no troops. Perfect. That is absolute perfection. And yeah, we're really looking to cut the Mughals down. We're going to have that peace deal this episode for sure. The real question is how far do we take this? Okay. We won that battle. That's excellent. Additional occupations are, of course, happening, and that's always going to be a thing. Ah, now we do have access to Diptech 26. That gives us a max promoted culture, which we haven't really done much with this game. Good colonial range and global settler increase, if only there were still places to colonize. <laughs> okay, sure, we'll take Diptech 26. That'll be fine. That does actually allow us to grab Modernize the State, which is the one that requires... Ah, that no Western country has embraced more institutions or is ahead in technology. So we are now e at least even in technology with every Western culture. That is fantastic. We're going to modernize the state. That gains us the stability. We were capped. It also gains us five innovativeness, but that allows us to take great power of Africa. And actually, there are all these other mission trees, but these are for our vassals, I believe. And I don't think we can actually do anything there. Yeah. But what we can do is great power of Africa. The world is shrinking as foreigners from the north try to expand their influence globally. We must become one of the great players of the world to ensure that our own state does not fall to obscurity and become the next target of the Europeans. Well, I feel like we don't have to worry about that. Just saying. <laughs> 25 Permanent power protection, or projection rather, and 100 prestige. The prestige isn't permanent, but that power projection being permanent, oh my, that is spicy. Okay, we'll definitely take that. These guys, they're going to head down over here. Yeah, of course Hormuz wants peace. Why wouldn't they? We're just going to continue to occupy over here. I want to check... To see if we see any Mughal armies. Oh, we have an army over here that isn't doing anything. We should probably just pull that army back, in all honesty. And we're just going to continue occupying. Yep, there's a lot of occupation happening here. Happens very quickly indeed. We're hoping some of these vassals come in and help us. That would be nice. How are we doing versus Moogles now? We're now at 82% war score versus Moogles. Beautiful. Do we still have ticking we can gain? Actually, yeah, we do. We do still have ticking war score that we can gain. So that's phenomenal. Our heir has fallen ill. Oh, no. Well, we have so much cash. 
He still died, I think. Yeah, he, he did indeed still die. That's fine. We can convert provinces, and so we shall. And we will just continue to occupy locations over here. Uh, kind of changing my mind about where I wanted it over here, but this is fine. This is completely fine. There's a rebel uprising in Horma's brewing. I believe we have... Hello, Moogle troops. Wasn't really paying attention, and they just kind of walked past us. Okay, well, that's my own fault. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> These guys are not very well prepared for facing this force. They're marching this way. We'll keep that in mind. These guys over here, we need to, like, pile into. So over we go. We'll keep an eye on that. In the meantime, of course, we are continuing to grab territory over this way. I want these guys to also make their way up here. Now, if we have to, then I'm pretty sure that we can hold this location, especially with these guys turning around. So we managed to stack wipe there. That's excellent. Okay. Well, we have plenty of troops on their way over here. Look at all of these vassal troops coming in. <laughs> Beautiful. We love to see this. Okay. So we're going to do some battle over here. And this force here, we want to put in our good shock leader. And we'll keep a couple more leaders over here. Okay. So we can see here. They are bringing reinforcements in. We have reinforcements a ways away, but we will arrive. And we did actually end up winning that. We're on speed four. Why are we on speed four? No wonder things are feeling fast. So we won that, and that is great. We're going to spread these guys back out a little bit. These guys can actually 6.5k. They can come down over here. I want to swap these units for sure. And we'll pop this guy down here. Okay. We need to keep an eye on this. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, Ottomans want military access. I'm actually going to decline that. Hormuz wants peace. <laughs> that's not a shock. We're going to send this force to go deal with these rebels. And these guys, they're going to continue spreading back out over here a bit. Uh, 2.4. Okay. We'll send these guys back, like, over here for now. I'm just kind of thinking about what we want to do over here. I guess we could try this. Try to pincer them a bit. Bring these guys, like, over here. Sounds good to me. And then we will come on in over this way, like so. Why are you at 19.8k? I guess just attrition. Sure. Cool. Okay, so obviously Moogles are at low war enthusiasm. They're at 88% in terms of their war score. And how are they doing for their military? They're down to 117k. So we actually see their entire force here. Ah, particularists. We'll turn around and head up there with these forces. Deal with that. Cool. So they're heading into Marib. From there, which way are they going to go? We need to find that out. They're going northward. Okay. Sounds good. So we have some forces trickling down over this way. We see Mughal forces moving about up over here. They've stopped retreating. We're actually going to catch these guys. That's great. Spain insulted us. How rude. How very, very rude. So we won a battle up here. Cool. We're going to cap this back, and then we're going to come up here and fight these Mughal forces. We've pushed back these guys. I don't know where they're retreating to. That'll certainly be interesting to find out. Okay. We're just going to do something kind of like 0.6k. Yeah. Wait a second. What? 
on 4 April. I feel like that's not actually going to be happening. Right? No, it did. We got stack wiped. They retreated one province to our tile. What? <laughs> I mean, that's my own fault for letting that happen, right? But I, I didn't believe what the game was telling me. That's not how stack wipes work. <laughs> Um, that's also not how retreat works. Okay, cool. I guess they're heading down over here now. Like, I'm not upset about that. It's just weird. Sure. So all of these guys, they're going to head up over here and see about dealing with these Moogles. We're going to take out these rebels and continue to take territory over here. These guys, they actually have to come up here and deal with rebels. We need to end this war, and we need to end it fairly quickly, because otherwise rebels are going to become an increasingly large problem. Maybe we should just call this good. I mean, how much more are we going to get from the Mughals? We're 91%, so only 9% more war score. Honestly, I feel like we probably should just end this. So we're going to separate piece of Mughals, and what are we going to do? We're going to take Mughal Arabia from them. That right there is 55% of the war score, and... That's also a lot of aggressive expansion. Okay. The Ottomans might get salty at us. Hopefully not. I mean, they're already salty at us. We're going to improve relations with them for a bit here. And then we're definitely going to take this, but we're also going to release a few nations here. We'll sort this by war score, and we want to do, like, the most that we can, which is actually Kiva. That nets us 95%. And then we can take like 1,200 gold from them. Not that we care about the gold. At all. But we'll take it. Just to weaken them a bit. Now, this will make the Ottomans slightly salty. So we'll go ahead and send this demand. There we go. And then Hormuz. We'd love to make them our vassal. That's not really going to be a thing. Do the Ottomans see this? A little bit, they do. Okay. So what we want... I mean, we'd love to take something like this. I don't know why taking this was so much aggressive expansion, but it was. We would love to just do something kind of like this, but there's no way we get away with that. Yeah, that's not going to be a thing. But what about this? Here's the question. Mughals are going to be truced to us. For five years. Do we care about the Ottomans? That's a good question. That's a very good question. We could take this and see what happens. We might be able to beat the Ottomans again. Now, let's see here. Who all would join this? Songhai and Ottomans. We don't care about that combo. Hormuz and Mughals we just beat. And then Gujarat. I don't think we care about Gujarat. We're going to be truced with Mughals for five years. So we'll have five years to build up defenses, right? And prepare for this coalition. There's going to be a coalition against us if they think they're strong enough. If we do this. The only thing that's giving me pause right now is our manpower levels. We can take Songhai, we can take Ottomans, we can take Mughals, but we can't take 
all three of them at once. That's the concern here. I say we live dangerously. We know what the possible repercussions of this are. But I think that we're sufficiently powerful to get away with this. I may regret that later. I may well regret that later. Okay, so we need to get every army that we have over here. And some of these are uh, currently battling rebels. There we go. We need to get every army that we currently have over here. And pull them all back to, like, this area. Ish. This area, ish. So, for right now, these guys can head, like, over here and then over here. These guys can head, like, over here. We'll get all of these spread back out. We know that we had one army get stack wiped. This should be more than enough to deal with Songhai. And we're going to need to do some coring here, that's for sure. We can get some of that started anyway. We're entering a chill period right now, but the question is, does the AI allow us to chill? We look incredibly strong on paper. In actuality, we're not that strong. But we look that strong. And we're hoping that the AI falls for that. So we're going to build a couple of structures in places where we can. Okay, that all looks good. Universities, I don't actually care about building anymore, if I'm honest. They're fine, but they're not great. Okay. Now, when we unpause, the question is, who all enters into a coalition against us? We're currently under truce with the Mughals and with Hormuz. That won't stop them from creating a coalition when that truce goes away. And they will definitely still have the aggressive expansion at that point. A million percent. Okay. Hormozzi Separatists. Unsurprising. Mughals are no longer a valid rival for us. Now that's interesting. We're going to send this army to go deal with the Hormozzi Separatists. We have too few rivals. And Spain is the only one that we can rival. Now, Spain is not seeing any of our aggressive expansion right now. So that's the thing. Nobody's joined a coalition yet. The yet being the operative word there. Okay. So far, so good. We just made a huge power play. And no one's punishing us for it at this moment. This is wonderful. We're super, super happy about that. These guys, they can go up to like here. These guys can end up like down here, I suppose. Okay. So we're going to need to unstack our armies and get them replenishing. That is absolutely a thing that we need. And it'll take quite a lot of time, in fact, to get that ready to go. Now, the Mughals are going to be recovering for a while. We had them give up Kiva, and they gave up this territory over here. I'm wondering what the actual development is over here. Uh, 12, 5, 3. Yeah, honestly, I don't think that was worth the amount of aggressive expansion that it gave us. But whatever. We wanted to cut into the Mughals, and that is exactly what we did. Okay, these guys are going to want to spread out, for sure. There we go. These guys are not moving, and they're also taking attrition. So we're going to have them come on down. We want everybody to get back home and to start not taking attrition. <laughs> so that we can replenish our manpower. We're going further in the hole as we move through these areas. No doubt about it. But we did get ourselves some nice territory and made ourselves some enemies along the way. No doubt about that. Beautiful. That's a conversion done. 
We have a new heir. And where is this army at? Ah, right here. Okay. We'll just move them down to here for now. We're going to continue to have some stacks for a bit. I'm going to actually have these guys spread out over this way-ish. That's a weird way to go. Are you going to go that way, buddy? I'm going to just come around and go like that. Like, I, I, I don't get it. Why would you go that way? <laughs> okay. Uh, come back around. There you go. Just like that. And in fact, we'll get rid of our fort here. This is not necessary. So we will get rid of that fort. Doesn't need to be there. This here, we don't really need to fortify either. So that'll be cool. Now, this was intended for our military fleet. We're going to move them up. These guys can move down to like Wooster for now. That'll do. How are we doing on our overextension? 85? That's not too bad, actually. Ooh, Miltech 27 is available. There's that sweet, sweet supply limit. So with that, we can actually increase our armies pretty dramatically in terms of their size. So that's great. We're going to group these together. And these armies here, we want them to spread out. Okay. Do we still have the Black Flagged Army? Yeah, we do. These guys are actually not moving for some reason. Come on down here. Actually, not Wusta. Uh, we know that we already had somebody going there. So there we go. That'll do. We don't have military access over here now, so that's fine. Okay, these guys are currently taking attrition. They will stop eventually. Military leader left us, sure. Sounds good. Ah, recruitment time minus 30. That's not actually helpful. I would have rather the manpower event, if I'm honest, but okay. Let's check in on our estates. We can actually definitely seize land here. Perfect. That is fantastic. And what bonuses are we getting from that? Absolutism? Eh, honestly, that's pretty good. Sounds good to me. The nobility is giving us some decent manpower recovery speed. It will come up a bit more, I think. We'll just core that. Beautiful. And checking in on our armies, none of them are taking attrition. This is perfect. This is exactly what we want. And honestly, if we're going to increase the size of our armies, then we want to increase our back lines here. So we want these to go up to like eight, or rather 20 cannon. Is really what we'd want. However, what are supply limits like nowadays? Uh, 59, 41. We could probably go to something like 40 or 35. I don't think we can go to a full back line of cannon. I really don't think that's viable with the supply limits where they are right now. But that's okay. We have a long time to wait before we can really think about that because we still need 128,000 manpower. Granted, we're getting 3,000 per month. So that won't be that many months before that's ready to go. And we do need to recruit another army because we did have that one random stack wipe that I ordered for no real reason. But we'll just head on over here with this fleet. Excellent. Honestly, a worthy goal. They will have our patronage. We don't care about 6,000 ducats. Like, that's irrelevant to us. Completely and totally irrelevant. No problem whatsoever. So this is now going to be a 90 fleet. Fantastic. We're going to need to zoom in a little more to get them selected. There we go. Okay, currently busy building, and we need to have a little bit more admin power to core these. Sounds good to me. 1737. Fantastic. So, naturally, this is going extremely well. The Mughals are upset at us, but we don't care. We managed to carve into their power a decent chunk there. And we are now more powerful, and they are now less powerful. We can probably make a state, can't we? Uh, let's see here. Yes! We can actually... Yeah, we do need to work on coring that. 
That is a that that is a true statement. We need to work on coring first. So we'll do that. That'll be fantastic. We probably want to think about annexing Mercuria and Yas fairly soon. Yeah, let's go ahead and Royal Mary Yas. There we go. And once our diplomat gets back and we can actually start working on this, then we'll annex them. That will be perfect. On 4 May is when we can start that. Beautiful. Okay. What was the state of this down over here? Right. Okay, we had that under control. We would have to fight either Portugal or Frisia if we wanted to actually handle that. That's okay. That's a conversion finished. Excellent. Revolution in Scandinavia. Okay. Well, good luck with that, guys. So that has begun. Mercuria, what's your opinion of us? Honestly, not that bad. We'll start improving relations with them. Actually, we can royal marry them first. There we go. And we'll get those relations improved soon enough. Honestly, improving relations with the Ottomans is irrelevant. They're never, ever going to get a high enough opinion of us to matter. So, <laughs> they're really upset with us. The poor dears. So, we're going to go ahead and improve relation with Mercuria. And we're going to also start coring Mazira as soon as we can. Actually, we should do Muscat because that's more overextension while being less. We can get that started sooner. Yeah, do it. So we need 90 admin power. We need a fair amount of admin power to get this finished up, but that's okay. And we're going to have to make full cores as well. Keep that in mind. So it'll be a little bit yet, but we are definitely entering a chill phase here and it is time to put a cut in. So next episode, we're going to get our armies rebuilt, expanded a bit, and probably think about fighting Songhai again. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. Lacquerware? Oh my. Okay. <laughs> see you all next time.